when did you come to the U.S.? What was it like growing up, and what made you want to go into the design field? So I came to the U.S. on January twenty ninth, nineteen seventy nine. Um, I was about four years old. So um, we landed in Kingsport, Tennessee. We had a, a sponsor from the first Presbyterian Church of Kingsport, Tennessee. Um, they decided to sponsor us because um, looking at our family, we had um, three children. I was I was the middle child, and then we have my sister who's a who's a couple years younger than me, and then my brother who's a couple years older, um, and then my dad was also a teacher. So they kind of figured that you know since he's a teacher, he'd uh, probably um, get a acclimated, I don't know if that's the right word, pretty well into the new, uh, the American lifestyle. Um, so yeah, that's, we landed there. Um, growing up, I've always been interested in comic books and cartoons and stuff like that. I watch, you know, back in the days, it's like a Sunday morning, a Saturday morning cartoons with my cereal, I'm trying to draw every uh, characters I see on TV read a lot of comic books and growing up, I've always wanted to be a comic book artist. So I used to draw a lot when I was little as well. Uh, read a lot of stories, trying to get into stories and whatnot. I didn't really get back into like learning more about Lao history until I went to college. Um, just trying to discover myself a little bit more. Um, that's when I, I start asking my dad and my parents more about why we came to the U.S. And that's how I found out, like, you know, we were actually uh, refugees from Laos and that he was uh, escaping the communist regime and coming over to the U.S. just to have a better life for all of us. At what point did you uh, decide uh, or find, uh, you know, transition, discover design as a career? Um, I actually never really liked design. <laughs> I, was, I was always uh, an artist, so I was always drawing and stuff like that. Um, so I went to school at NIU, um, Northern Illinois University. I enrolled as an illustration major because I wanted to pursue my career as a comic book illustrator. Um, so this was back in the mid 90s, um, late 90s. That's when the internet kind of started. Um, so when we used to, um, like my brother and I, he, he went to a different school. He went to UC Urbana, I think it was, if I remember. Um, so the only way that we could communicate was through um, this thing called IRC. I don't know if you remember. Oh, yeah, of course. I had, a, <laughs> IRC. I had IRC. We used to chat like that. Um, so at the time... Um, websites started coming out and I really wanted to show my work and stuff like that. Um, started learning how to build websites on my own just by like uh, view sourcing and then checking out people's codes. And there weren't a whole lot of uh, documentations available. So it's just pretty much just, um, just trying to figure out like where to host stuff and just asking around. I, I was asking my uh, school's IT department, stuff like that, how they can set up my own homepage at the school. Um, and then I started just putting my stuff up there and I got a job at the school newspaper and uh, I designed the, the school newspaper's website, re refreshed everything, redesigned that. Um, so I was really getting into web design. And then I sort of changed my major into uh, electronic media. So I started learning more about video production and uh, 3D animation, um, more uh, action scripting. Mm -hmm. No, not action scripting. Oh, uh, it's the Apple's Apple's oh, Apple um, script. Apple script. <laughs> yeah, that's right. 